What's up, my nieces and nephews? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus. I'm just about to do a quick one for you. Um, to see what is some of the overall energy that's coming towards my nieces and nephews. I'm kind of off yesterday. I mean, kind of off today because if you've been watching my, my um, videos, um, my two of my decks got damaged. And they were my one of my my two favorite decks that I always use. One of them, and it it got warped with water. Um, then my my light where I would show y'all how the energy works around us that got busted and broken up. <laughs> but I'ma still keep doing these readings for y'all. All right. So please keep in mind that this reading may trigger you. It may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. You claim the good and you rebuke the bad, okay? And I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to protect me as I channel these messages for the collective and keep me safe from all the energetic attacks. And I'm asking you to send them back, return the sender 10,000 times back. Okay, thank you in advance. Okay. So somebody could have ended a marriage. Somebody could have, uh you could have been in and you could have been invited to a wedding and you didn't go. Or some of you you could have um be upset because you didn't get invited to a wedding or a celebration or event. It could be a birthday party, an anniversary or something. Um Here's somebody is going through a storm. I'm doing a nine card spread for y'all. The overall energy is someone was either not invited to a wedding and the upside down crossed and came out here. Ooh. A house is the, the, everything is surrounding a house, a wedding, not a gift, a, a storm, a courtship. Somebody is taking a trip. Somebody could be leaving a situation. Somebody is not talking to the people in their community or the people in the community is not talking to you. You're chilling in your house alone. Um, the devil is here. And we're going to send his ass back to hell. I rebuke you, Satan. Okay, this, this is somebody wanting me to be or you to be going through um, some sort of hell. When it comes to a home, a house. And this is somebody who you ended a relationship with or somebody is out of this relationship with you. This person also don't see you as a gift. Um, it's over. Somebody's house. I don't even like saying that. Just put protect your home, okay? Put some salt around your front door, back door, around your house. Um, get you some some Florida water. Clean your counters, your bathroom, your kitchen, and, and put Florida water in your mop bucket. Spray your counters with it. Tie your head up at night. Here's someone. Um, it could be this could be a person or it could be an attorney's. This could be a real estate agent, somebody who who reads a lot of books, travels a lot, have a lot of bright ideas. This person is going through a storm right now because it has something to do with a house. And this person is of the devil. Now, you could be five years older than this person, or this person could be five years older than you. This could either be someone you wasn't in a relationship. This person could be um, someone you broke up with. Emergency. I see um, this attorney... Someone has a dark attorney. He's he's of the devil. Okay. 
this attorney had you in a bunch of chaos and conflict because he was a third party situation. Um, has something to do with you not receiving a gift or this attorney is not going to receive a gift. Uh, the court is about to bless me. I see the setting wealth in the court. I'm going to be out of this chaos and conflict. So are you. Okay. It has something to do with a house. And this could be like your husband. You could have been married to them. Um, you could have been living in a house with somebody. This could be a house you're renting. Somebody could be moving to a new house. It ain't in your community where you usually are or somewhere else. You may have received a gift and you're not telling. You're moving on. And you're getting out of the chaos and conflict. Some of you have ended a relationship so you don't have no strings attached. You can live happily ever after in your own shit. Somebody is about to court is about to bless you. Okay. God is about to bless you, but it's coming through the court. All right. See you next week.